hello i am here i am live i am getting ready to uh get this party started and uh yeah it's been quite a party this weekend i had a lot going on and uh so i was like okay i had to go pick up something from crate and barrel because i got the, the salad plates and the bowls but i realized that when i ordered the salad plates i only ordered one and I needed to order like two more. And so I was like, oh my gosh. So I, I put the order in and then they had it ready. So I had to drive because I prefer to um, not get, like when it comes to that kind of stuff, I prefer just to go pick it up if I can. And so I ended up driving all the way to the other side of Kansas City, like 45 minutes each way. So I could have that together. So now that is together. And then also, as I showed my TikTok people, I got these from Amazon, these small little, you could probably put a drink in there too. Um, but yeah, these small little dessert um, things. And so what I'm going to do is I've got some pudding that I got at Price Chopper, the best choice pudding, okay? Because there was a sale on Jello pudding, and I do like Jello pudding, but I was like, I want to keep it real. Like if I'm doing shelf cooking, if I am doing things where it's like, hey, we're trying to save some money, now there's going to be times that I'm going to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and go out of budget for this. But I was like, yeah, I got to be, I got to be authentic. I don't want to be up here you know, railing about prices should be cheaper and then I'm like, you know, doing expensive, expensive stuff. Plus I have things to save for as well. So speaking of that, I got this Spanish rice prepackaged um, at Aldi's like probably a month or so ago. It smells really, really good. And so I'm just kind of waiting for this to, uh, this water to heat up a little bit more because it's not quite where it needs to be. I try to like make sure that I've got that going. So what I could be doing at this time while that water boils is I could and I will go ahead and open up this because I'm actually going to eat this tonight. And I kept going back and forth. I'm like, do I go ahead and try to cook meat too? Or do I just kind of do that kind of off camera? Because I can't do everything on camera. That's not like, that's not feasible. So we're taking that out. We're putting this in here. You can't see what I'm doing think you can well you you can't really I'm getting kind of close there um hang on I can just move this back a little bit just a little bit just a little bit okay there we go right there so now you can see what I'm doing like right here so I'm putting this in here because again this is a very small dessert cup here Okay, it's kind of, and usually after this, I, I, I take pictures and whatever. I probably will not take a picture tonight of this because I'm going to eat it, but um, I will probably do another, probably more curated picture of this. So here we go. This is just straight, it's just straight chocolate pudding. Now, because I'm going to go ahead and put some, um, so right here, it's almost filled up in there. See that? Um, because I'm going to go ahead and uh, put whipped cream on top. I'm not gonna do two. I feel like if you, you could only probably do one and a half because this is not very big, but this is kind of an idea I got when I was thinking about all the potlucks people are gonna be doing in all um, the cute little dinner parties that everybody is gonna be having this uh, summer. So it's like, what could be like economical where it's not something where you have to bake cakes and stuff like that. And maybe you don't wanna deal with fruit because um, you can get pretty uh, pretty inexpensive fruit at Aldi's and Sprouts, but sometimes, you know, you, you can't always do that. There'll be weeks where you're like, oh, wow, am I in the right store? It seems kind of expensive. And what I like to do for whipped cream when it comes to this, because again, you know, this is my go-to. Uh, I will also, if I don't have any pudding on hands and I've got whipped cream, I try to get the extra creamy uh, kind because with the extra creamy kind, you can take some sand you know the stuff that you use for cakes to put over? You can just put this in one of these bowls right here. And then that it's the whipped cream and you can just like throw some sand on top if you got some like leftover berries or something. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Look at that. Right there. Just like that. And let's see if I have any sand. If I have any sand in there. Hmm. Let's see here. I 
I do. I've got some green sand. So this is what we're gonna do. You gotta be careful with the sand because it'll end up everywhere. So just a little bit of shake, 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 Signora. Shake your party line. Okay, whoops, I didn't follow my own advice. So if I were you, I would do this like underneath a plate. And because I'm not gonna be taking a picture of this one uh, tonight, I'll wait till tomorrow to take a picture of that. It's fine. Look how easy that is. It, 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 look how that is literally really easy. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you could do the whole kind of parfait thing. I'm not doing that tonight because I this is like my dessert. And I got to try to eat it before 7.30. Um, so I think that this water is, mm, this is ready for our Spanish rice. Here we go. So what we're going to do Mm -mm -mm. So I'm following that and let's see here. I think, does this fit? Does it fit? It fits. So we're supposed to kind of let it simmer. And um, yeah, one thing that we can do, even though it seems kind of like intimidating, like how can we do these? Desserts? This was not very expensive on Amazon, but as I've always stated, you probably have water glasses like this that you can use as for like desserts. You know, if you're doing like a little dinner party, you want to do some cute things. You could do like some little mason jars. You could do shot glasses. Mm. Um, there's a restaurant, I can't remember which one it is, and they serve, it's a chain restaurant. Someone will probably write to me and tell me. Um, I don't know if it's Pool Hands or one of those where they serve, they have desserts and shot glasses. Mmm. Super cute and very like kind of like, you know, kind of locale in its own way. Mmm. Sorry, I, this is like one of my favorite desserts. I remember this being such a treat. Mmm. As I dance on camera and eat this. Yeah, I just, I like simple things. You could also do this because this is pudding with whipped cream, but you could also do this with jello as well. Now with jello, you gotta be a little careful because it's gonna kind of be like, um, like it's gonna be like slabs and look weird. So what you could do in the package, you could kind of just start kind of like muddling it around, moving it around. So then when you put it in there, it's like, it's not, it's, it's not like in that weird slab, but it's kind of like, um, you know, you've seen it when it's kind of jello's chopped up a little bit. Mm. So you could definitely do that. And you could throw like a little bit of a, uh, whipped cream on top of it. That definitely would work. I'm just over here just like eating this, like living my best life eating this on a Sunday. Mm. So much better than having to, you know, bake a cake or bake anything. Even though I have air conditioning, I, it's so funny because and during my face, not my Facebook live, my TikTok live, I was making a stack of waffles, you know, for the week, right? And my waffle maker, my new waffle maker, like I washed and everything like this this morning, I didn't really try it out. So y'all, I was sweating. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even have my air on and I was drinking water. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so hot. So it's good not to be, uh, you know, doing a dessert where I've got to do that. Plus I've got my oven on because I'm baking these um, rosemary, well, lots of, not just rosemary, but lots of uh, these oven potatoes that have been seasoned with basil and uh, paprika and rosemary and uh, tomato basil. So yeah, they are, um, and I'll take pictures of them, but they're uh, red and yellow potatoes, small ones. And I think those are the best ones to do. I was saying on my live, my TikTok live, which I found out you guys, I can download. I can download that and I can put it on my YouTube. They just, it's like 30 days. So the first week I was doing lives, those, I don't think those are available, but that's okay. Cause I uh, needed some training. So those are like my practice kind of throwaway lives, but pretty excited about that. This says seven minutes. So we're just gonna kind of wait for it to, uh, to, um, Ooh. to kind of do that, see what we got. Just still kind of 
kind of cooking there. Hmm. Really good, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Like 12 year old me is having so much fun with this. <laughs> okay. Moving that out of the way. So one of the disadvantages to doing Sunday night things is because usually by now I try to have everything done and I'm on my computer like doing any kind of paperwork I need to do. But I just like, when I came to this morning, I got a lot of stuff started kind of piling on. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this. I gotta get this done, I gotta do that. And it's like, I looked up, it was like three o'clock. And I thought, okay, I gotta get the rest of these errands done and then I'll come and do my live. I think I started doing my first live on TikTok closer to about like maybe six o'clock, six o'clock or so, six ten, something like that. And so I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, on that live, I happened to do the potatoes. I prepped the potatoes and I did the waffles. And I was going to do meat um, on this one, but I, I think I'm just not, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'll probably cook the meat off uh, camera and then kind of show you the things that I'm using with it because I still do have some tortillas. And I do have a lake trip, fingers crossed, still planned. So I can also do, um, on Wednesday, I can kind of do uh, some of the lake bites for this Facebook Live because I did talk about what I want to do is I want to do quesadillas. So I'm going to do some quesadillas and they'll either have pepperoni or bacon in there, but tonight, like, but on Wednesday, I'm going to use the beef that I have, um, the strips beef that I have. Um, so it's going to be cheese and it's going to be like uh, green peppers or maybe onions or something like that. And I'll do some that don't have onions or green peppers too. I try to like, you know, when it deals, because some people can't eat onions, they can't eat green peppers. So I will have some that are plain and I'll have some that are a little, little bit more fully loaded uh, for folks. So I'm excited about that. And then I actually will end up doing some lemon cake bites. I do have like a donut hole pan and I'll, I'll do that. And it's got maybe like 24 in there. So I'll just do kind of um, so much easier to do those lake bite or lemon bites. I'll have them kind of chilled. So when you eat them, it's not gonna be like super hot or anything like that. It's not gonna be too cakey. It's gonna be like, like cold. That's kind of the goal with that. And then I'm going, I plan on doing some homemade uh, like tomato, like a tomato kind of dip. I, I hesitate to call it salsa because I do kind of deconstruct things and do what, you know, whatever I have on hand a lot of times is what I cook. So I don't want to call it like, be. I want to be authentico. And sometimes when I cook stuff like that, it's not always authentico. So um, yeah, see this, what this is doing. It's not really cooking. And again, in my, in, you know, fully, fully admitting that sometimes I don't measure and uh, especially when it comes to rice, I'm like, oh, I just put, like, you know, I think I did do two cups of water, though. Maybe maybe it's two and a half. I don't know. Well, look, I'll just cook it, and if I have to strain it, I'll just have to strain it, and it'll, it'll be all good in the hood. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Although, when I tried to do that with that couscous, <laughs> that was, I put way too much water. I had to take a tea strainer and get it all out. You guys, that was so funny. It was like, it wasn't funny, but it was like, you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. Um, Cause these prepackaged things are a little bit different than dealing with rice. Cause you know, everything's already kind of in there. And um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep uh, letting it cook a little bit longer. And I can smell, like I can smell, you guys can't see this. I can move this up a little bit closer. Um, you can't smell it, but there is kind of a, a nice, sweet little smell there. Let's see what we got we're working with. Okay, so we do have a lot of, there is a lot of kind of rice in there. So it looks like keep letting it, it cook a little bit more, longer. Sometimes I think it, when they say seven, when they say like, oh, it's gonna be seven minutes, it's more like 15 minutes. It just depends on, um, you know, you kind of have to know how these uh, work, so you just kind of see, you know, what's what's happening. I do have an egg timer that I like to use, but I don't like it when the when the egg timer actually uh, goes off. Then I like I'm like, oh my gosh, why are my nerves uh, so jangled? So excuse me, I'm just a little kind of like you know, just a little mellow because it's like 7:25, 7:25 ish uh, Central Time, so I'm a little like okay ready to kind of be in 
you know, I guess technically I'm already in my caftan, my new caftan. Check me out. What? Who's that fashion icon in the caftan and the slippers? It's me. Um, it's quaint and cozy KC, so we're trying to be quaint and we're trying to be cozy. I was saying on my TikTok live earlier that I'm excited because in historic downtown Liberty, they are having like this trolley ride for uh, Juneteenth. So they're going to kind of take you around some, some historical sites and uh, like in the, in the area. So I'm very excited for that. So I've got to get my tickets for that. I've been kind of geeked up um, about that. And uh, so that's on Saturday. And then Sunday should be pretty mellow for me. Next Sunday should be pretty mellow for me. Probably be able to get, hopefully, fingers crossed, actually do a breakfast live. Um, that I'm always striving to do that. And then I always like, but I Saturday, I just didn't get everything that I needed uh, purchased, purchased on that. So that's, I mean, again, that is what it is sometimes. That's what it's like in real life, right? I was listening to, I listened to a show. It's out of Minnesota. So there's like a lot of those Minnesotan accents. And I can say that because I was born in Minnesota and I lived there for like six years after college. So yeah, so I can, I can, you know, talk about the accents because I sometimes my Minnesota accent will come on in to a conversation. But um, they were talking about how, you know, they're cooking. It's called the weekly dish and it's Stephanie and Stephanie, two Stephanie's. And they were talking about how, you know, one of them was like, you know, I, I mess up on, on camera. I mess up. I do this stuff and I get self-conscious about it. But then, you know, people tell me, but you're, you know, that's, that's what regular people do. You don't want to have a situation where it's like everything comes out perfect because there's so many shows where everything comes out perfectly. And I think one of the biggest appeals to Julia Child, rest in power, is that she was this lady who, like this middle-aged lady, who just was having so much fun, she dropped things and be like, oh, well, you know, this is what we're gonna do, because that's what you do in real life. You kind of go, okay, well, we're just gonna try to make the best of that. That's why it was so joyful. I was had so much fun watching a Julia Child and Jax Pafan because they were so good together. Now this is like really kind of, I don't know, this is, I got a lot of water in here. So I might have to give it a few more minutes and I might have to strain some of that water out. Um, yeah, so that's why kids, you need to measure. But I did, I like I did the cups, so, but I just was like indiscriminately pouring in cups. And I think that if, if uh, there were more in here, I probably would have justified this much, having this much in here. But sometimes, like I said, I forget when I'm dealing with the prepackaged rice, it's a little bit different than when you're, when I've got like regular jasmine rice in there. Well, speaking of which, I did get some jasmine rice. I, it's been a while since I've purchased jasmine rice because I've been trying to like finish off what I have like here. But I was like, hey, let me just go ahead because people were talking about how rice prices were going up and stuff. So I was like, well, I'll just get some jasmine rice. But one of the reasons why I really appreciate jasmine rice is because it is like the wingman to so many different foods. If you've got a food, and it doesn't matter where that food is from, if you've got a food that has some kind of sauce, like some kind of smothered steak, or has some kind of thing where, okay, you've got to put a sauce over there or a broth over that, that jasmine rice is going to soak up the flavor in the best way. So it's going to like kind of like, you'll have like this, and a lot of times people eat their meat before they eat the rice underneath. But when you, so you eat all the meat on top of it, and then that jasmine rice has absorbed all the flavor and the and all the goodness. And so it's like having a, a second helping of that meat because the jasmine rice, that's what it does. It's like the perfect complement, I think, to any kind of food that has uh, any kind of sauce to it, right? Or where something where it needs to be moist and all that. It's, it's the perfect food for that. When you're doing like a basmati rice, I find... I'm doing a basmati rice because I want to add some texture to it. So I, it's not necessarily going to give me the same kind of flavor. Uh, it's not going to be the same kind of flavor aid. It's like a flavor aid, a flavor aid to like a meat dish, but it will give you some texture. It will add some heft and some depth to a meal, but not necessarily like a flavor enhancement like the jasmine rice is. That's why I love it so much. That's why if I were like on a super strict budget, and I, the only rice I would get would be jasmine rice, and I would do like a, like a, you know, one of those chicken broth. Remember, like the really the cheap, the cubes are the cheapest, I think. But I'd do something like that, and I would, I would uh, put that with the the chicken broth with that jasmine rice because it would just be like heaven. You'd be eating that and tasting it. It wouldn't be drying out and everything like that. I probably would also um, 
put some pepper, some lemon pepper in there too to kind of give it uh, some kind of thing. And we are gonna have to keep it real and I'm gonna have to strain this out. Um, so I shall be right back. Okay, here we go. I take some of this out because, yeah, it was a little too much. I had a little too much going on in there. Okay. Yeah, that was just a little too much, just a little bit too much, and that's okay. Because there's, here's the thing, there's vermicelli in here too, not just rice. And I think I was not picking up on that, and that's why I should not be so do I have anything in here? Get my tea strainer. Wait, hold on. I actually think I have my tea strainer in here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oof. Okay, Let's see here, see how much, if I've got anything in here, a lot. I really don't have a lot in here. But this, is, this actually comes in handy when you have situations like that, when you don't pay attention. It helped me with the couscous, otherwise I would have had to like, yeah, this is, yeah. I just put a little bit too much in there, probably a lot too much in there, and so that's what happens. Let's see here. One thing about filming your cooking is that it's going to get real okay it doesn't matter it's going to get real and I've got enough in here so it's going to stay I don't want it to dry out so I'm going to go ahead this is going to be more of a soup I'm putting in smoked paprika right here because it needs a little bit a little bit more something I'm not going to do the rosemary though I'm going to do this cracked black pepper here and it's this it's seen its last leg so I'm gonna have to get rid of that soon and I'm gonna do some basil here we go yeah the rosemary's gonna be a little too much okay here we go now got that in there we're gonna let this simmer I'm gonna turn it down so it actually can Simmer for real and not simmer with all that water in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, like I said, ah, we're always keeping it real here on the Quaint and Cozy on my lives. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. Another reason why I like uh, this, the prepackaged rice, is because it's really easy just to go and like, okay, so I've got this prepackaged rice here. What I can do is I can serve it with like, um, you know those chicken patties that you can get from Aldi's? Uh, they're breaded and they're actually not very expensive. I could bake some of those up, season them, and then slice them into strips and then kind of serve that as the meat. If I wanted to do it again, I could also do it with, uh, if I had time to grill chicken, um, if I had uh, time to, uh, if I had time to grill chicken. And uh, so yeah, that's kind of like what I, what you could do. We just want to make sure like, Again, we, we stay in budget and we keep we keep things realistic because you can't always cook, you know, like all your, you can't always do all your meal prep on Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes it gets way too busy. And so that's why you got to do things in phases. And um, so like I started, I was like, you know what? If I do my meat on Mondays, like the meat on Mondays, I'll do like, I'll do the steak on Monday and then the chicken I'll cook on Tuesday. So that way, like I don't really run out of food. I've kind of staggered everything. Um, so I don't really run out of food. So I'll be done with the beef probably by uh, Thursday, starting on Monday. And the chicken I'll be done with on Friday or uh, Saturday. And so that's kind of why I do it. That way I'm not sitting there going, oh my gosh, I'm just, I still have all this food. It's going to go bad soon. I just kind of staggered out. But again, 
I have the time to do that. It just depends on what's you know best for your schedule. But I just find for mine, it's easier if I do things in phases. Like tonight, after I finish this live, I am going to um, hang on here. Um, after I finish this live, I'm going to be running that dishwasher again. I already had to run my dishwasher um, today, and so I'll be running it again to get everything you know together and and clean. Okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit more here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and go ahead and turn this off here. There we go. Get this on the burner so it doesn't burn. You gotta watch that when when whenever you can. If you've gotten, I know some people only have two burns, but if you've got stuff and it's and it's done, especially like a rice or something like that, where you don't want the bottom of the pan to burn, so take it off that hot. Take it off the hot element, if at all possible. Also get some cooling racks if you want to do that. Get like a cooling rack. They're not very expensive. I think you used to be able to get them at like the Dollar Tree. You can definitely get them at Walmart and uh, put them down underneath so you don't burn anything. Be really, really, really careful with your pans just because, you know, again, it's easy to forget when you're in a hurry and you're trying to uh, get stuff done. And um, so, yeah, so let me just go ahead and I can um, let me put this down, I'll scoop this out for you. And you can see, see, where do I have? Do I have a plate over here? I do I have a plate over here. Okay, let's put this on here. Actually, let me just use another plate. I think that's the plate I use for my waffles. And that's gotta go in the dishwasher. See, it's, it's like a little bit on here. So just like this. So here you go. This is like a little bit of here. This, this is gonna be my side for my lunches, well, one of the sides, because I also have, and let's see here, let me just go ahead and put, take this off. I also have, I think the potatoes actually might be done, and I did maybe mention on TikTok that I was going to show people what the potatoes look like. So let me just go ahead and see if they are done. Ooh, I think they're done. Let me try one. Because sometimes potatoes be fooling you guys. You're like, it looks done, and then you bite into it, and you're like, this is not cooked. Uncooked potatoes are depressing to me. Like seriously, seriously, it feels like a betrayal. Uncooked potatoes feel like a betrayal. I know that sounds very dramatic, but it's true. And this one, come here, come back, come back. And that fell, okay. Okay, so I've got this right here. See all the, the drama that is my kitchen right now. Okay. Oh, this moved. Hang on. Whew. See here, this. Oh my God. That's hot. That's wrong. That's hot. Okay. That's very hot. Oh. Is this drink? You know, I had to quit drinking uh, sparkling water because of the carbonation starting to bother me. So now I'm just kind of drinking flavored water and I'm starting to kind of get used to it a little bit. Now that's not to say I didn't sneak in a soda or two this weekend um, because I ended up having to drive like today and uh, a lot further than I thought. And so I was like, oh, I'm kind of tired, but I didn't want that jolt of caffeine that tea can give you where all of a sudden you can like lift up a car. I'm like, I don't need that. I just need like a little bit of some, some, but not that big some, some. So you know, where is, oh, I need to go down and get, oh, the only one I can find is my snowman one. Okay. Look at this, we have got these oven roasted potatoes. And I will take pictures of them on Facebook uh, for like on TikTok and stuff. But let me just try to bring one up to the camera so you can kind of see what we're working with because this is really, really hot. So hang on, Let's see what we're working with. So see this, this is this oven roasted potato. It's a Yukon gold. It's gonna be amazing with everything. And I have to be careful with these because these are the kind of thing that I usually don't like cold potatoes. I'm very particular about that. But these are the kind of potatoes that you could because they're seasoned so well, I just say so myself, 
you could kind of eat these cold. You could just start eating them out of the refrigerator cold. And I'm not a cold potato person because of that texture thing, but you could totally do it. On that note, you guys, I'm going to let this cool down and I'm going to start, you know, getting stuff ready and hopefully I'll have everything done and, and my, my dishwasher humming by like 8.15 and I can just kind of like, you know, slowly maybe watch a movie before I, I uh, wrap everything up for my Sunday and kind of kick off the week. It's just going to be so busy. I was saying on my TikTok live, June is, is one of those months where you like blink twice and it's over. I thought May, May usually lasts forever. You're like, oh my gosh, it's still May. No, May was like after May 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, I was like, okay, May's, you know, it's kind of, and then the 16th happened and then I blinked and it was like May 30th. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so that is what's going on. You guys have a great, great rest of your Sunday evening. Hope everything is amazing for you this week. And I will be back here on Wednesday. Okay, take care.